ข้ามาถึงนะคะท้องอาลูกเรียนเข้าไปในเธอหรือเรียนเข้าไปในเธอหรอคุณไม่ต้องถึงคุณต้องตายคุณเกิดคุณต้องถึงเราขอถึงเราขอย้อนทั้งตัวท้องอาลูกเธอเรียนเข้าไปในเธอหรือเธอคุณไม่ต้องถึงเรื่องที่ตัวเองสอนเรียนคือเรื่องที่ Tianjin Polytechnic University. The university impressed me deeply with vitality and freedom. For me, it seemed that all the components on campus were alive and breathing. You know the trees, the rays, the lake, and the air. All such lively things just made me feel so energetic and so refreshed. The second destination was Tianjin City. Tianjin is really a historic city with a history about 1,400 years. In the modern Chinese history, Tianjin was also the first evolutionary city that promoted the Westernization movement, which has greatly encouraged people to learn Western culture and technologies. Although suffered from several revolutions and even wars, the traditional taste of the whole city preserved. Tianjin is famous for its traditional Chinese folk arts like the sugar figure blowing art and the clay figure making art. In addition to its traditional culture and history, Tianjin is also very renowned for its colonial culture and history. The famous Italian-style street, which has a history of more than 100 years, is the most authentic Italian-style neighborhood in Asia. The product of the collision between historical and modern times is the symbol of the prosperity of the local economy. With the sunset, the light gleamed on the Mother River of Tianjin Haihe River. The beautiful scene makes me feel peace and settled in this city. College is a place where you can obtain your knowledge. Chinese characters are a very essential element in Chinese. In Chinese calligraphy, it looks that the brush pen is dancing on the paper. And what is more amazing is that the brush is totally soft, whereas the characters looks really powerful and vigorous, which exactly could demonstrate that to overcome the storm by applying soft methods philosophy in the ancient Chinese culture. At Tianjin Polytechnic University. Learning is not only limited inside the classrooms. I was very lucky that I got a ticket for the senior exhibition of the fashion and art school. What I could never forget about that exhibition was that I was unexpectedly invited to walk on the stage like a model. Of course, I was really nervous, but to be honest, 
I feel really honored to be chosen to present those gorgeous clothes designed by the graduates. I like playing basketball, and I feel really confident about my basketball skills. People always like to call me the younger version of Kobe Bryant because I am really good at playing basketball. I'm not bragging about myself, but I could nearly get a perfect hit rate in the basketball game. I like to swim too. Our school has a great swimming pool, and I really like to swim in it. Another reason that I like to swim is that I can show off my great body shape in front of girls. But unfortunately, this way of drawing girls' attention only works when the professional swimming team is not in the pool, because obviously, girls are always more attracted by those professional sports guys. The way we evaluate a school cannot be only based on its buildings or campus. More importantly, we should consider its education and academic resources. The library of Tianjin Polytechnic University is the longest one in Asia, which has thousands of book collections, journals, and magazines. In addition, it is also a great place where we can escape from the hot weather outside and spend a day reading books on the couch. <laughs>